So first thing you should know about Springboard VR is it is comprised of two main components. You have the admin panel, which is for the arcade owners, it's where you set up your stations, locations, etc. And then there's the launcher, and the launcher needs to be downloaded on each one of your computers at your arcade. Let's first review the admin panel. The admin panel lives on the cloud, and you can access it via a username and password. So let's go ahead and log in now. And this is your admin panel. We have different tabs to set up different things like stations and games and user, users. Here in the top right hand corner, we have a little bit more information. And the first time you log in, you should be prompted to start a tour that shows you how to set up everything. If you ever need to restart that, you can do so here. If you click it, this is what you should see. We'll go ahead and skip the tour for now. And we'll review the stations tab. So here's where you can create new stations. You can see which stations are at what locations. You can see what games are added to what stations. And you can see what version of Springboard each station has. And we can edit these stations, give them different um, information and those sorts of things. We can also see what, um, you know, if there's any stations that need to be updated, which it looks like this test location needs to update all of its stations to be on the most recent build, uh, which we can do so remotely by clicking the update station button here. Let's go and go to the launcher builds tab. And here you can review all of the builds that we've released and what the most recent one is and what additions it has in the release notes here. We do generally, generally release a build once every two weeks, so expect those with your Springboard subscription where we, diff we add different uh, enhancements, we fix some bugs, and we add some new features to Springboard VR. Next is our Locations tab. Here you can set up different locations and manage them with different users. Uh, it's very easy to add your logo so your customer can see where they are inside the Springboard environment. Our stations, station logs is something you really don't need, but it's, it's really for us to see if there's anything going wrong with your account, and if so, it helps us to identify errors more quickly. We'll skip the monitor stations for now. Let's go ahead and go to the Games tab. And here you can very easily add games to your Springboard account. We'll go ahead and click Quick Add Games. It'll bring up a list of all of the games discovered on your computer. All you need to do is give it a category, and click add game and that's it it'll be added to your springboard account so we can see all the games that are added here in our beginner category intermediate category and advanced we can edit these games we can get a lot more detail as far as text description what video and image that they have for the customers to see which can all be customized by you let's go and go to the categories tab here's where you set your categories you can change the name of these especially if you're uh, a foreign language country then you can you know edit these and call them whatever you want you can see how many games have which categories and all of that so let's go to go to the tags tags is helps your customers filter out what games they want to play so you can add different filter tags and assign them to different games our analytics shows you different information as far as how often certain games are being played with certain date ranges. You can see it in uh, different formats. And we can see Job Simulator is dominating.